pointing this way. I might need to sort of U-turn this, maybe? No, I can just go through. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Okay, it's fine. We don't need to reverse around. We just need to hope we can go up here. I'll put these on. <laughs> that road noise, Jesus. That's loud. It sounds like from outside the car. Truck. Controller's growing as well. Come on, back in the car. Back. There we go. as well. I do have no idea what the name is. Cheers to Do you mean cheers to See how long we need to wait this time. I had to wait ages on the last one. Oh. Okay, now for the drink. Right, I think I'm clear. Yeah, so. Just drive on the road. What do you think I'm trying to do? <laughs> Yeah, like a crash fine of like or maybe a hundred pounds. Well, that's what it was when I had the, well, when the other car. Well, I say the other car hit me. I had the other car. But uh, there's also I think there's deductions of the contract as well. If you hit someone or you take too much damage, and if you really crash and you have to be rescued, then that's even more money. No. Cheap. <laughs> yeah, but still. <coughs> Plus it wastes time. At least I figured out there cruise control. Just chill. 157 followers. How long do you think it will take before we get to 200?
not the answer I was expecting, honestly. I thought you were going to say a bit more than that. We need to promote you. How? It's not like after one style of content. Whereas Lewis, I think he's away from that. How would Lewis be able to help? It's hard to promote yourself though, without coming off as just being like, oh, come and check me out, and that's it. You need to actually give people a reason. That's why they always say, like, put stuff on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and whatever else you can. But even then, you have to make stuff for it, and that would be difficult. You have to, like, build up audiences elsewhere and then bring them here on Twitch. Because, well, Twitch discovery is not exactly good. If anything, it's uh, useless. <coughs> well, it's not entirely useless, it's just very, very bad. Right, how long are we going to be waiting here for? Actually. Don't hit that, please. Okay, we're good. I'm not sure if I would have actually hit it, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I'm to just stop this hill. Come on. Come on. Up the hill. I've only been a couple of times. <coughs> and one of the two of those times were for the airport. Like leaving and coming back. I've only been in to like the city itself once or twice. So I don't really know it all that well. It's alright though. I'll probably end up there again someday. The airport? Yeah. There's only really three airports here. I'm staying in the middle lane, because there's another left going down. I think. Yes, I like, can see it up there, Palau Road. And, I mean, to be fair, it does look like that here. Like these overhead motorway signs. Airports, yeah. Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Preswick. Glasgow and Preswick are pretty close to each other, though. And obviously, Edinburgh's in Edinburgh. Maybe like a little smaller private ones, maybe for getting to the islands up north or up to the northwest or something, but those are like the three international ones. Like if you're going abroad or even to England really, you'll go to those ones. <coughs> or, you know, a train or bus or other forms of transport are available. I should stop plane drifting. Probably not good.
think. Oh, there is isn't, there is isn't. Was a Halloween so There's going to be one this month probably as well. <coughs> I think there might be a sale on for this game soon as well. Maybe. Because there's the Colorado DLC for American Truck Simulator, which I've got, but I haven't installed it or anything. <coughs> so people are thinking there's going to be like a franchise wide sale. Oh, this is a classic. And if there is, then depending on how cheap it is, I might pick up a couple of the DLCs. Because there's... the Scandinavia. I think I've got Scandinavia and Going East, and one of the other ones. There's one for the Baltics, there's one for Italy, and there's one for France, and they're working on Spain and Portugal. So, depending on how cheap they are, I might pick up one or two of them. I really want to get the Pro Mods expansion. The mod, but that needs all the DLC. But if I get pro mods, then there's also the Russian map. And, like, the southern Russian bit. So I think the, the Rus map just adds, like, western Russia and a little bit into Siberia. And there's one that adds the steppe south of, you know, down southern Russia. Going by a picture I saw, but that was from, like, two years ago, so I don't even know if they've been updated anymore. <coughs> But that would be good, because it adds a lot of stuff. And I used ProMods before. I think I've still got it installed, but this is... But I have to roll back the game for it to a compatible version. And this is a up-to-date version, just without all the DLC. At the very least, I think the next one I needed was the France DLC. Because as it stands, there's only like... That's the wrong button. I wanted the map button. There's only this much of France. I mean, you can see the border here. That's all there is. So the France one obviously adds the rest of France. They're working on this. The other DLC adds this. There's... Yeah, there's the... The DLC that adds Romania, Bulgaria, and a bit of Turkey. I think ProMods adds the rest of Turkey. Like Cyprus. There's a Balkans mod. Which, maybe that has Slovenia? I don't know. We don't have Slovenia. There's the Baltic one that takes you, obviously, into the Baltics, into northwestern Russia, I think. What DLCs is it that I've got? Uh, that was what actually shows me, I think. Deleted the store page for me. Uh, I've got Scandinavia and going east. There's Vive la France, Italia, beyond the Baltic Sea, and beyond the Black Sea. No, road to the Black Sea. And Iberia is in progress. And then there's all the... the packs for, like, paint jobs and... customizing, and all that stuff. Kingdom Rush and Vengeance. Can't say, I didn't even know there was a new Kingdom Rush coming. <laughs> Black Sea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only the Black Sea, not the Baltic Sea. Right, can these guys in front of me hurry up? I didn't even look and see how far we're about to go, but it says 44 miles. It's not that far. Them. I don't even think I'd be able to reach them, given how long it would take me to speed up. Bruh. I'll do a song we'll get next. I've been trying to DMCA it for all this. I'm just like DMCA free video stations.
There probably is. Just have to load for them. Oh, I didn't see the destination on the map. Well, I could. After went to the middle way. Take my chance, run out. I can't land close. Time drive. I like it. Imagine the rain was on now. Oh, that'd be nice. I saw a bit earlier. There was a post. There was a guy who was running like pro mods and stuff. He went from an island like way above the northern Norwegian coast. Two minutes to midnight. That's what it is. Iron Maiden. Like way, way north of Norway, and it went from there to Cyprus, or Cyprus to there. One, it was one way or the other. It said it apparently took them all afternoon. It said it was an afternoon well spent, though. But yeah, we're going a bit fast. <coughs> If I level up off this one, I might be able to get more longer distance jobs. A bit choppy coming down here, but we got it. Level up, yeah. A bit late for having tea, isn't it? Everybody's like, more has one for you. Not that I'm judging or anything, but just an observation. I'm not sure if this will level us up or not, but it is a high value job, so maybe. I need to zoom this in to see where I need to go. A bit late for the indicator. I don't see any roundabouts, it should just be fairly straight. Oh no, there is a roundabout. It's just a straight left though. I say a straight left, that's contradictory. <laughs> Just left. No, we can't even go that way. Or straight on. This is the only way we can go. 